Hello, in this video we're going to have a look at how to create a new view in our SharePoint custom list and some of the benefits of that. So let's get, a, get started by creating a, a new view. So one of the options we've got is we can click this ellipsis here and create a view. The other option is we can go to list and then here we can click create a view. Now when we begin this process what will happen is it will ask us and provide us with a variety of options. So the standard view is the view that we've just recently seen and what that's going to do is it's going to inherit from our existing view which is all items. The calendar view obviously will give us a calendar the data sheet view will obviously give us the uh, grid view for editing and the Gantt view will give us a Gantt chart view of the data. So in this scenario we're going to use the standard view and we're going to start from an, from an existing view. So if we just call this new view for now and if we click OK so at this stage, we've made absolutely no changes between these two views. We have two views, all items, and new view. You see the screen refreshing with the same data. 